Let's join Kaede Alayade, who has the latest sports stories. Welcome to Sports News. MFM FC defeated champions Enugu Rangers 2-1 in a match day 10 tie of the Nigeria Professional Football League played on Friday at the Agege Stadium in Lagos. Sikiru Olatumbosu fired a screamer to put the Lagos outfit ahead in the 32nd minute. Top scorer Stephen Oje increased the goal tally in the 56th minute, but Bobby Clements pulled one back for the Flying Antelopes 10 minutes to full time. MFM moved into second spot with 16 points, while Rangers are 16th with 9 points. Meanwhile, the league management company has paid 50% salaries of Sunshine Stars players and set up a verification panel to investigate the indebtedness of the club. The step was taken to verify its financial records since the club had submitted attestation documents signed individually by each registered player, confirming that they were not owed salaries as at 31st of December 2016, they registered for the season. The LMC has accepted an apology letter signed by the club captain Sunday Abe and vice captain Adeni Alaba, pledging to abide by the process of enforcing their rights. The salaries paid to the players will be deducted from the money due the club. Going overseas now, Leicester City interim manager Craig Shakespeare says he's saddened by the sacking of Claudio Ranieri. Shakespeare also dismisses reports of players' revolt and played down speculations that his relationship with Ranieri had deteriorated. Five straight league defeats have left Leicester, who won the title last May, just a point above relegation. And Shakespeare hopes to rebuild confidence starting with Monday's match against fifth place Liverpool. Three Russian athletes have been given the green lights to compete internationally under a neutral flag by Athletics World Governing Body, the IWAF, and Shalika Sidrova, Kristina Sikkova, and Alexei Sikrikoki. All met the exceptional eligibility criteria to compete in international competition as neutral athletes. The three could compete in the European Indoor Championships in Belgrade and the European Throwing Cup next month. They joined Daria Klishina, doping whistleblower, and former drugs cheat Yulia Stepanova, who were previously declared eligible to compete. And banned cyclist Lance Armstrong's fight against a $100 million lawsuit by the U.S. government has been set for trial starting November the 6th in Washington. He is accused of fraud by cheating while riding for the publicly funded U.S. Postal Service team. The lawsuit was filed by Armstrong's former teammate Floyd Landis before being joined by the government in 2013. Armstrong was stripped of his seven Tour de France titles, which he won between 1999 and 2005. He was banned for life in August 2012. And that's it on Sports News. The news continues in just a moment. Stay with us. And U.S. President Donald Trump has vowed to start building a wall on the Mexican border way ahead of schedule. Addressing the Conservative Political Action Congress at the Annual Forum at the National Harbour in Maryland, he vowed to always put American citizens first and build a great, great border wall promising to get bad people out of America. It's coming to coming a day after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly met their Mexican counterparts in Mexico. The era of empty talk is over. It's over. Now is the time Total. for action. We've taken swift and strong action to secure the southern border of the United States and to begin the construction of a great, great border wall. We've defended other nations' borders while leaving ours wide open. Anybody can come in. Oh, we're going to build the wall. Don't worry about it. 
We're building the wall. We're building the wall. In fact, it's going to start soon. Way ahead of schedule. Way ahead of schedule. U.S. President Donald Trump there. Well, after many years of creating critically acclaimed music for others, producer and singer Kovam Sasukwa is set to release his debut album. Well, here's Victoria Edo with the latest story in entertainment. On Entertainment News tonight, dexterous Nigerian beatmaker Kobam Sasuko has announced a much release date for his debut album titled For You. The visually impaired singer and producer who has gained popularity both locally and internationally for working with top artists like Asha, Timida Kolo Bears, and Banky W will release his 12 tracker album online. To find my confidence in putting this album out, I needed to experiment with you know the other sides. So generally, uh, you know, I, I think it's important for me to mention that I could consume music in all forms and it's a very wide spectrum of music that I listen to and um, I had to ex experiment with different genres of music that you know I also enjoy. After two consecutive impressive outings on 30 days in Atlanta and a trip to Jamaica, comedian turned filmmaker Ayamakum, popularly known as AY, is already working on another installment for the adventures of a horse, the lead character. The new installment, titled 10 Days in Sun City, follows the tourism theme of the previous installment, which took viewers to Atlanta, in the United States of America, and to Jamaica. It's another romantic comedy, another boss series, and this time uh, we decided to go to South Africa. And you know, I like to do the the blend of uh, you know that cultural mix in terms of uh, you know uh, collaborating with other countries. talked about collaboration between Nigerian Afro-pop goddess Yemi Alade and South African rock star Mikasa is finally out. The rave Malik Berry produced collaboration gets a vibrant and thought-provoking visual directed by Justin Campos and Akandi Kam. And that's all for tonight. It's back to the news at 10. Thank you, Victoria. And the main news again. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Rutime Kedirudulu, was today sworn in as the sixth elected governor of Ondo State in Akure, the state capital. The event was attended by some past and present state governors, the president of Senate, ministers and leaders of the All Progressives Congress. Also today, South Africans held anti-immigrant protests in Pretoria, the capital. The protesters where residents of Mamelodi insisted the foreign nationals are abusing their country's hospitality. And U.S. President Donald Trump today vowed to start building a wall on Mexican border ahead of schedule. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. Have a splendid weekend.